What's up, Clanners? This is Ezeldog of Red Hot Heat here with a long overdue Red Hot replay. It's been a while since the last video. A lot of things have changed. Our clan has gone to level 9. The description still says no bots, no mods, but now that's pretty much been banned. We still keep it up there, though. Um, the war log display has changed. We've celebrated our 200th win, had a lot of new members and uh, old members come back. And we're doing this one. Had to find the time because we had a perfect war. Um, wasn't competitive, but it's still not easy to get uh, 23 stars in a 20v20. And so um, it did include two Town Hall 11s and two Town Hall 10s, which were not the best bases here, Sedano Empire, but maybe they'll learn a few things. But still, getting those three stars is not easy. And I'm just going to go ahead and show all of these, maybe not at full speed, to, to show everyone old and perfect war. Um, exotic Turtles. Longtime member coming in with 34 hogs against a Town Hall 7. I don't know if it's the fast forwarding that's making this run slow, and I'm sorry if it's laggy, but I wanted to get you guys in the video. Uh, pulling the dragon to the side. Now dragons won't stand in the poison, but she surrounds it with wizards and archers. Putting in some small troops on the cave of 34 hogs. You can see this is going to be over in another 40 seconds. Um, just 34 level 4. But stepped up and, and took the low base. You know, some people don't want to do that. They they want the loot, but you do get three war stars this way on your profile. So thank you, Exotic Turtles, for coming through on that one. Going up one, we're going to see a new member, Raw Dog, coming in here with nine dragons. And I want to watch real closely. Okay, he's lightening the back air defense, so he's got two. He's going in at the sweeper. There's a few of our guys been doing that. Uh, I know it's kind of set up that way with those two um, air defense in a line. But, you know, when possible, it's better not to send your dragons into the face of the sweeper. Um, but these ridiculous cannons in a little row are just going to go down. And uh, in the clan castle, that's what I really want to pay attention to. So there's his loons, and he put down clan loons. Those must be Max Loons. Yeah, they got some... I haven't seen them. They got some new crazy black spikes on them. Um, but really, his dragons are doing the work here with the rage. They just rage right up to the first air defense. And we'll fast forward because the dragons are tanking. And now the Loons are going to come up. Another poison to slow that dragon. Very nice. The loons are going to come up and just be able to get to these Teslas while the dragons are taking the damage. Barb, is, Barb King is going down this little aisle. He's got Archer going on this hut. Uh, I like to see people start their dragon funnel on the huts. If you're going to come in from the you know bottom and the right, put a dragon on each one of those and let them funnel in so you don't get burned by those huts. But this one was overpowered and plenty of time. Great job. Raw Dog, welcome to the clan. Um, Longtime member here, Callow. I think um, Richard has taken over doing the attacks for this one. You know, the the kids don't always stick with the games like we do. I'm not sure if it's Callow or Richard, but it's one of those UK guys, and he's coming in here with uh, it's Town Hall 8, Hog Attack, Giant, um, luring out the dragon, poisoning the Barb King. Again, the dragon wants to flee the poison, so you've got to use your uh, troops to keep it fighting and in the poison. And now just bringing in, I don't know what that hog was for, uh, but bringing in some hogs on the right hand corner and then it looks like he's just, oh he's fishing for that double bomb set turned out not to be one. Uh, so then the main attack is going to come across from the top here and he's being wary, there's another single bomb these were not great bases, still hard to get 23 stars and another single bomb and he's all set one more heal for the hogs, plenty of wizards are going to get dropped for cleanup um, and that's it. So good job to Kalo you know, Town Hall 8 is not uh, strong, but neither are the troops, so you still have to do it right in order to get the three star. But with three single bombs, it's much easier. Good job, Callow. Okay, going up one here. Baby Swiper. Okay, another Callow. Sorry. I'm just doing the ones that are on the front of the map, with one exception. One exception. I'm going to make sure Gun gets in here. Uh, he, got the, he got the perfect war for us, and then I beat his time on the same base. Uh, you'll see that later. Okay, another Town Hall 8, again with the Hogs. All right, Luring, Poison, Dragon, Wizards. Up in the corner, killing the Balloon, and does this one even... Well, you don't know where the bombs are on this one either, so he's just coming in from a lot of angles. I don't know if this was cleanup. 
Uh, but he's healing in the core. His Barb King's going on the sides. There's one bomb. Ooh, got him in a heal. They were red. Sorry about the lag. Another bomb. Healed it straight after. I guess once we saw enough single bombs in this, maybe we started to figure these guys don't know what a double bomb set is. All right. I just crushed it. All the right steps. Lure, kill, clean up, probe for bombs, heal. Good job, Callow Richard. Okay, moving up. Number 16, Asylum. Okay, this is one of our top attackers here at lots of different levels. Uh, Town Hall 10 and 8. Doesn't have a 9 in the clan anymore, or hasn't in a while had a Town Hall 9. Uh, we call him I Am Commando or Calm, or I'm Going Commando. Uh, so Calm is coming here with his Azzy account, his baby account. Um, just very experienced, knows how to destroy Town Hall 8s. Not even using the poison. I like that because then you get, and you already just pulled a skeleton trap, um, but when you can just distract the dragon, you have to distract the dragon now anyway because it won't stay in the poison. So if you're already distracting the dragon, why not save the poison for the skeletons or the barb king we all know how a barb king can ruin a hog attack when the hogs end up on the barb king so don't double poison a dragon if you're just gonna have to put barbs down to distract it anyway I think that's the message here um uh, oh and he got a golem and a pekka in there you know Asylum has been real taking advantage of big wide open cores uh, and knows which troops to use in in these attacks, uh, Valkyries. He's been doing some go uh some go uh, Just loves busting into these big cores, and so he knew that the Pekkas could just go crazy. I guess he has a max CC Pekka in there, and just um, wreck through this. Just has to get the clan castle. Boom, boom, boom. Three star. Number sixteen. Okay, we are at seven minutes. Okay, might get through maybe half, and then do the other half in a second video. Mr. Cheese, another guy that came over to us recently with two accounts, an eight Mr. Cheese and a baby nine Ronin. Uh, coming in with a hog lure, he's probing that area, sent quite a few hogs to try to get him to sit in that area looking for bombs, didn't find one. And so now he's going to, yep, maybe he couldn't tell where all, the, he knew all the troops had to come out, but you see how those wizards were under those balloons there? Okay, so he's opting to use the poison. And just, you know, slowing them down, distracting with wizards. Few wizards, but he saved one poison. He's healing in the core here, looking for those double bombs. There's one. Hogs rotating in from the right and the top. Two heals down. So out of heals, but more hogs coming in from the other side. His barb king swaps for that barb king. So you know your hogs are safe from that. Oh, he did find the double set up there by the clan castle. And didn't have to use the other poison because he killed the Barb King and he pulled one skeleton trap. Or no, that was Asylum. Maybe these skeletons were set for air. I mean, that can't happen. You save your poisons and then the skeletons are set for air, but uh, better safe than sorry. It's good that he saved one. Three star. Thank you, cheese. Another cheese. Extra cheese. See if there's any more challenging. Uh, oh god. Barb gets the lure and the giant bomb. Okay. Seldano Empire. Take a note. Double giant bomb. So he's go ahead and slowing the dragon while this balloon catches up. And he didn't use his second poison on the last one, so he's not doing it here. He's got a nice three finger drop. That's good. Send them all in. It's kind of like a wave. Uh, two heals, and he's going to have one heal somewhere in the back for the majority of hogs and some clan castle hogs. Oh my goodness. The max hogs. I, I've been wondering if they would ever, at lower town halls, limit the level of the donated troop because the Mac, first the max dragon, and now balloons are up to level 7, and hogs are up to level 6, and Valks are up to level 5. It's just so crazy at town hall 8 how strong these are. I, I don't know why... They have level 10 hogs someday. Maybe you shouldn't be able to give those to Town Hall 8s. Okay, good job, Cheese. Six star. That was Cheese, right? Yep, okay. Bish Bash Bosh. This is Callow Richard's other account. 
It's got three. Um, okay. One barb for the lure. Thank you. Seldano Empire. The Empire is crumbling. All right. And uh, poison. Single poison. Wizards to distract. Barbs to distract. Kills the dragon. Still has a poison. You're moving up to the Town Hall 9 range here. Clearly this one has one crossbow. And he's going in with a jump. And a few Valks. This is his kill squad. But the Valks and the heroes walked. Valks are still in the core with the golem. So they're exploring. Looking for bombs. And he sends the hogs from the exact opposite side. Interesting. So it's like a wave on that side of the base. With this base being kind of oblong. I think I would have come in on the short side just to keep the hogs basically moving in a straight direction. Uh, on the wide side, I would be afraid that they would have veered left and right and not stayed together, but it worked out. And he has enough troops to clean it up. Still hasn't used the hero abilities and crushed it. Got a hut down here that they're going to get to. Good job. Oh, and nope, somebody up there got that hut. All right, good job. Bish, bash, bosh. Number 12. Okay, here's my wind shard account on the baby town hall. Uh, town hall 9. This is another one with one crossbow. So it's in a low air defense and a level 2 queen. So I'll tell you what I was thinking here. I thought these golems would get in there and get the queen and get the air defense and get that sweeper. Because the sweepers are pointed opposite each other, so I really wanted to you know, get one sweeper and come up behind the other, but my wall breakers, the first one triggered a giant bomb, and the other two were too close and didn't, then got hit by the splash, so the break-in here didn't happen, and things were going slow, so I ended up burning the jump a little early to jump in instead of jump toward the back, and the queen doesn't cooperate, so we're killing dragons, and we got the air defense and the queen, but I think the golems... Well, it looks like the golems are getting to that sweeper, but they're probably not... Oh, they got it. Okay. I, you know, it was going on so fast, I just thought I wasn't going to get the sweeper. So now two hounds over here. And, you know, I tried to do that thing that the Jake videos say, where you let your first two hounds migrate over and grab bombs before you send the third one, but then I find that I have all these defenses that aren't getting hit. So I haven't decided quite how to best send that third hound, if you know what I'm talking about. He says that your weakened hounds should travel across the base to the next air defense and soak up the trap so that your fresh hound comes in after and can tank for longer, not to let the fresh hound take the black bomb. But then I find when I wait that there are defenses that I want to be going down. So it worked out anyhow. Nice split. Speed this up. Pups everywhere. Got a lot of corner huts. I think I ended up having to rage the pups in order to make sure that they would get all the way down this row just to do something because the balloons didn't go back to 6 o'clock. Then they finally do. And that's a three star. Okay. Was that two wind shards? Oh. Well. Alright. This one's a hog one. Okay, so that's good. That's different. Two from the wind shard account. Uh, this one was crazy. I remember this one. Look at the queen. She's just out there. So one golem, a poison, the king, some wizards, and 35, no, 30, 30 hogs and 31 hogs and some CC hogs. Now you make the queen that easy. I stupidly put the hogs right down in a giant bomb. I had to heal them. Luckily didn't lose too many. And then just running them through with four heals. No jump needed to get to the queen, so four heals for the hogs. Got max CZ hogs in there. These are Town Hall 8 defenses. So that's just how it goes. All right, it's going to be our last one. We're coming up on 14 minutes, 30 seconds. All right, so let's try to start the next one up a little quicker. My uh, beginner YouTube only lets me post 15-minute videos. So after this finishes, we'll be coming back with Perfect War Part 2. This is Ezeldog from Red Hot Replays, Red Hot Heat, and thank you for watching.